hello everyone. So today's video is gonna be a little bit different. Once again, we have a water hazard, trust. Oh, Jesus bloody Christ. <laughs> Rather than just looking at my ugly mug for the next however long this takes, we'll do a little, a little photo video montage of my time at Bailey's farm. Uh, today I want to talk about the changes that have occurred since I started my trip and although I don't actually feel any different, I found the video of me leaving on the very first day of my trip six months ago and it really dawned on me how far I've come in the last six months on the road. If you're working on anything and you don't feel like anything has changed, it has. I'm very grateful for the opportunity that I have, but I'm no different to anyone else. So after six months, things have gotten a lot easier and I have grown a significant amount, but I'm still not special. There's still nothing particularly different about me that you don't possess already. If there's something you're struggling with, Give it a shot. Trust me, it gets easier. Oh, it's dirty as well. Watching that video of me leaving really showed how far I've come to myself because I've noticed a lot of things that I did in that video that I don't do anymore. For example, see, something's coming. See how it takes me two goes to get the kickstand up? That's because the bike is too big for me. Oh, I'm hurt. And I couldn't actually get to the kickstand. See how I am only tiptoeing on the ground? That's because the bike is, again, too big for me, which I've sorted out. But when you have a fully loaded motorcycle and you can't touch the ground, it's really scary. And here's something no one knows about. On the very, very, very first corner of my around the world trip, my front wheel wobbled. I am literally 205 meters down the road, I measured on the first corner of my round the world trip and my front wheel wobbles. Now I've later discovered that the problem was motorbikes have a very specific geometry and if you throw out that geometry it has noticeable consequences. Yes, I could have turned around, gone back but I'd said my goodbyes, I'd hit the road, challenges were going to present themselves and I had to deal with them. So, I continued. The thing is, I'm so grateful for that experience because I got through it. There was a great amount of suffering, but if you keep going, it gets better. And what I wanna show by sharing this story is that if you are struggling with something and you are worried or scared or any other negative emotion just give it a go pushing out of your comfort zone is the best thing you can do for yourself and the rewards on the other side oh spectacular oh little fella living the dream little side note how good is this this is a walking track in Fitzroy North down the side of some river and it's so nice to be in nature. Another guy. Oh, 
highly recommend getting out in nature every once in a while. Being amongst the trees and the grass and the plants is pure soul food. Ah, oh, it's just fantastic.